he talked about God. God is good. Is the God the God that is good is still the God that is bad or evil? Am I paraphrasing right now? That's right. I mean, okay. by my teachings. Okay. So, you know, I go, I go asking myself, God is good. You know, looking at the story of Isaac and then um, Esau, God said, I am um, Isaac, I love, Esau, I hate. I don't know if I'm paraphrasing, you know, the, the Bible right now, but that's almost what the Bible said. You know, that's the understanding we get from it. Now, this is a God that loves us equally, right? A God that is not partial. You know, so could you make us understand that? Because I don't even have that answer. Uh, well, I am not, uh, to be honest, I'm not talking about that same God. Oh, really? Mm -mm. I'm not talking about that same God because I cannot explain why one a God will say all of those people, 50,000 of them, go and kill them all. Hmm. And then you are my selected people. The world can crumble, the world can, can anything can happen to the other parts of the world. They are not whether they are human beings or they are not, I don't care. All I care about is you. For as long as everything else dies, it's not my problem, but you must live. I mean, it doesn't fit into my teaching. So, and that is why prayers like everything, I mean, most prayers are like within the context of everything else can die. Whatever should happen, should happen. Even if the world even if God should make 50 people die or even one person die, just let me live and enjoy. That's all that is my business. That's not my, it's not in line with my teaching. My teaching is along the line of let what is be. The one who created them knows why it is there. He knows what he created them for. So we cannot say, you die, you die, you die, so that I, that's selfish. That's the self we are talking about. Any, any kind of prayer that originates from I, it doesn't matter what happens elsewhere, just I is evil. That is not good. So that is why I'm not in a position to defend something that is apparently contrary to the very teachings that uh, I give. Now, it is okay for anyone to believe anything and practice anything. There is a reason there is darkness. There is a reason there is gray. There is a reason there is light. It's very okay. The point is, my, my, my point is, don't practice this. If not, don't practice this. Don't be there. Don't be there. It's okay. There is enough room and there is enough room for everybody. So wherever you belong at any point in time, you are good. Remember that it's a journey. You just happen to be at that level on that part of the journey at this time. But my teaching is, if you get fed up of a particular thought and you feel it's time to move on, come mm -hmm. with me. Come and explore this avenue. Right now, you, whatever you are practicing that is working for you, it is beautiful. It is meant to be so. Please stay there and let it work. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. So I am not saying, I'm not coming to condemn what is. What mm -hmm. is, is perfectly fine. Okay. But my point is, if you have been dwelling in a path, if your cheese has been moved and you are waiting on this spot, wake hoping and praying and doing whatever you can for the cheese to be, I mean, if you have read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? For the cheese to be returned, I'm saying, no, it will not be returned. It has moved, it has moved. Come with me and look at this other practice to get to the next level. 
So my teaching is not for everybody. My teaching is only for the selected few who have become dissatisfied with the status quo. What we call status quo now at one point was awesome. You were even joyful that you, oh, I have come into the realization. Mm. But it is time to move on. That is what is you are experiencing now. Don't sit there waiting indefinitely. It will not come back. It has moved to a new level. You move to that new level by the practice of these teachings. So whether you belong to this God or you belong to that God or you agree with this or you belong to that religion, all of them is fine. As long as it is leading you to where you desire to be, you are fine. And stay there. Stay there. Whatever is working, you don't change your winning team. Whatever is working for you, stay there and keep doing it. Again, who is this teaching for then? For people who this thing has worked for you one year, two years, three years, seven years, 15 years, and it's no longer working. Don't stay there weeping and waiting. Take my finger by the teachings and be lifted up by these teachings to a new level where you come into a new realm, come into a new life, and come into that which you had been waiting for at a lower level. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you have more questions to ask around this because uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of controversial when I said, no, the God that is universal. I mean, this is where we need to know exactly what we want. Do we want to just sit down, read and believe everything that comes from the outside and not have our own mind or by our own direct learning, be able to filter this from this and weigh options? That would be religion. Just take, take it as it comes and swallow everything. Again, that is fine because it is for a reason. It is for a reason that hell exists. It is for a reason that darkness exists. It is for a reason that everything that there is exists. Let them do their work. Or at the appropriate time, at the appropriate time, when it's time for you to move on, knowledge will come into you. And that which has been held to be truth all this time may be punctured. And you find that, well, I need to seek a higher truth than this. You need to move on. 